Welcome to Amateur Decorating Like a Pro. I'm Catherine and I'm super excited. Oh yes, throwback intro and throwback art made with skewers. I'll link those videos in the description box and on an iCard. So today I'm inspired to begin that little journey again. We're going to create art with skewers. Now this is not all of the supplies that I used. I'm just going to put a list in the description box below. But obviously skewers are involved and a couple of wood plaques. You can buy those at Hobby Lobby and of course cabinet lights which you saw earlier. You will need one plaque per project and one pack of skewers per project. There is usually 100 skewers in a pack and you'll need 70 to complete one of these projects. I decided to try and get intelligent about doing this project so I came up with a strategy. I wanted to put together bundles of skewers that I could easily just pick up and place on the project. So seven inch, eight inch, nine inch measurements, I did those on the skewers. You see there on the screen and I wrote the quantity of each that I needed for each bundle. I used wire cutters to just do an indentation and then I would break them because I hate to have those little pieces popping all around the room. So I knew how many bundles I needed of each and I knew how many I needed to complete the project. So I had 14 long, 28 of the medium size, that's your eight inch, and then 28 of the small size, and that is your seven inch. So that's how I came up with my bundle sizes. And you'll see why I did this in just a little bit. I cannot apologize for my brand popping up throughout this video or any others in the future. There is a lot of deception going on out there concerning YouTube videos and in order for several of us to protect ourselves, we're having to do this. So this is the market in which this video is being shown on the YouTube platform. So guys know that I'm trying to protect myself. Thank you. This black mat is a tray that used to sit under a dish drying rack in my kitchen. It is perfect for my hot glue projects, guys. I love it. The glue just peels right off of it. Now I'm putting my skewers in bundles of five. The longest skewer is in the center and then the medium and then down to the large, but you can arrange these any way you want. Well, one thing I've been able to do is separate out all of my tools so I can easily get my projects done. So I needed one screw and one washer for this project. So I had my drill on hand and of course the one with the battery wasn't working, but that's okay. Just plug the other one in and get it done. So where do I get the tube from to complete this project? So if you have duct tape, washi tape, or painter's tape, anything on these large spools or either tubes, whatever you want to call them, use it for this project. And I had several rolls with just a little bit of tape left on them. That was perfect. So I drilled a hole inside of the tube and then, but first of all, let me make sure you know this. You need to drill a hole large enough for your screw, but you don't want it to be too loose. You want everything to fit a little snug. Grab my large drill bit and I want to create an opening on the back of this plaque, but not all the way through the plaque. This is for the top of the screw to nest in. You know, you want the back of the plaque to remain flat. So just drill in just about the depth of the top of your screw. Then you get a smaller drill bit and you drill completely through. Now look at how well the screw goes completely into the plaque and it gives me a nice flat surface. That's what you want. Now to install your pieces on the wall without any hardware, this is the best way. You want to stabilize the surface, of course, and then take your drill about the size of the nail that you're going to use or a command hook. 
Drill in just a little bit straight down and then lean the drill bit backwards to angle that hole. That way that wire from your command hook or the nail will be firmly in place and it won't fall off when it rocks left or right in case things should move around on your wall. Originally, I created these round circles to place inside of my pieces and that's so the cabinet lights could rest on top of them and I didn't have to worry about them falling completely through. I later removed them, but I wanted to go ahead and show this to you because you might have those strange shaped cabinet lights that may be a little small ones or the little round ones that they're coming out with now. And you need for it to rest on surface, on the surface of something. So I created this for you to be able to see and then go ahead and use it as an option. You do want to put it in about halfway. That's along the area by the screw and that way you can just place in your light or the lights that you use at Christmas and let them dangle from the bottom of the piece so that's solely up to you but I wanted to show you this option I removed mine later on but I'm gonna go back and put them in because now I have an idea for Christmas and once again place the ring right underneath the screw after you've assembled everything it'll be okay so place it right underneath not so close to the edge like this one that's why I had to remove them because how else was I going to add the bottom roll of skewers I can clearly see the one in the center, the one that is the tallest. I lined it up in the center of my ring or tube or whatever you want to call it. And then I'm able to kind of balance everything out all the way around the sides. I did remove the foam because that was not the setup for me at that moment. And I had a little line there so you can see exactly how far inside you place your skewers. Now, if you go one at a time with the skewer placement, that's fine. It just takes a little bit longer than I want it to. So having it in bundles of five was perfect. And this is the top part already completed. And I wanted to go ahead and show you what we were going to work on next. We're going to do the bottom now. I am applying new hot glue on the opposite sides of my little bundles. The other, the old glue, that's to protect my fingers when I press it against the inside of the cylinder or tube or whatever you want to call it. And as the glue is drying, I'm spreading out the skewer so I can get the arrangement that I want. And the one in the center, you definitely want to spread out because it creates the flow for the rest of those that you'll apply along the sides. There are seven sets of skewers on the top and seven sets on the bottom. So, you know, five skewers are in a set. That makes 70.
I decided to stop about an inch away from the back because that way I would be able to insert lights and also it just looked a whole lot better. It looked like the skewers were going to start touching the wall and I didn't want that effect. Now that I've completely assembled everything, I'm adding a little extra glue because I don't want those skewers to move at all during the installation or during the entire time they're hanging on the wall. So I added extra glue, triple layers in some cases to make sure they were firmly in place. Well, it's time to design. This is the favorite part of the video where we get to decorate these guys just the way we want them. Of course, I'm adding the wooden beads to the one that I want to have that really unique boho look. And I'm gonna, I can't wait to show you that one. Anyway, let's just move on. Um, if you want to double up the lights because this um, cylinder will allow you to have two uh, back to back, then you can with a little bit of the, um, Velcro, just put them back to back and stick them on the inside. I'm putting on a jacket right here, guys. I decided to give it a look just, just to see how it would look, and it really came out really well. Just cut a strip of some uh, glam wrap. I don't use glam wrap a lot because I'm not a glam girl. I love traditional home with an edge and all artsy, so glam isn't necessarily me, so I'll have to be honest. I don't want to deceive anyone, but going into the holidays, I like a little sparkle. So as you can see, this is how I put that wrap on with a little bit of Totally Dazzled, and it turned out absolutely stunning so if you are a glam girl or a guy then this is an amazing piece of decor adding those LED lights that are remote controlled so you can go from 10% 80% to 100% in brightness they are really stunning I'll put that link to the Amazon order that I placed in the description box of this video but don't you just love how beautiful this is it's currently in my craft room slash office because there is a little bit of gray and silver and if you want that spot of color here it is spray painted it blue it is absolutely stunning and this is just paint i had in the garage so i wasn't trying to shop for paint especially during this time but it turned out amazing so i really would like to do a couple of more of these especially with updating the patio for fall in the next couple of weeks and you see how easy that uh, outdoor or top of a cabinet light um, that cabinet light fits inside of that can't get my words out but you see how easy it just fit right in there and again I don't have any of those rings in it right now but later on I will because I want to get the smaller light so I can put them back to back and so I can get the light from top to bottom but this is so beautiful and again I did the um, bling wrap around it and of course I had to take it to another level I went to Hobby Lobby they have the cork like fabric which is so pretty guys it has a hint of gold in it so I just cut out a tiny strip now I did buy six inches worth really cheap for like two dollars and something and just putting that around the band of this piece isn't that stunning so if you are into boho or cultural or just global 
decor. This is beautiful. You can stain it, of course. I did not at this point, but I tell you what, when my office goes into a more casual look, and I do plan on doing that next year, this is the perfect decor to mix in with that. I absolutely love it. Just a drop of hot glue, put that strip of fabric around it, and I'm done. This is it. Isn't that beautiful? I hope you really like this one, guys. I tell you, it's my favorite of them all. Now, if you're not a subscriber, I hope you will consider doing so today. And remember to press the bell twice. Get those parentheses or quotation marks around the bell. You'll know when I have gotten a video posted, so you'll be right on top of watching it. Please, please, please subscribe to this channel. I really would appreciate the love. Just rejuvenating some things, passions over here, and things that you guys have requested. Thanks a lot for watching. And as always, stay in prayer, stay safe out there, and stay creative.